There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, aboran, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the Ethanols and Biofuels video for scientific terms. In this video, we're going to cover the scientific terms which are mentioned in your syllabus and also in the chapter itself. And the reason why I need to know these scientific terms is because they, because they could come in your exam, so they could be in the exam questions, or they could be useful if you add them into your exam questions answers. So I'll go through them one by one. These are the ones which are in your syllabus and mentioned throughout the videos. The first one is your IUAPAC nomenclature. And that's just a way to name organic compounds. And an organic compound, which is any compound that had quite a few carbons in it. So we use that, for example, the methane, ethane, propane. Through this nomenclature, we know how to name them. We know what methane is, we know what ethane is. Um, a straight chain alkanol, so that was the word, the alkane with an all in the end. And these were your um, alcohols. So this is a CNH2N plus one OH. So this OH group, the hydroxide group, makes an alkanol. Dehydration was the removal, so the removal of water. Ethanol was a two carbon alkanol, so a two carbon chain and was an alkanol. And its formula was C2H5OH, and an OH makes an alkanol. A solvent is a substance that dissolves things. Nonpolar means it has few or no possibilities for hydrogen bondings. And these hydrogen bondings, or dipole, dipole interactions, they allow for strong bonds. So if it's nonpolar, it has few of these possibilities. And if it's polar, it has many possibilities for hydrogen bondings. And we said that ethanol is a good solvent because it has both a nonpolar hydrocarbon end and a polar OH end. Fermentation, that was your basically your anaerobic respiration, the breaking down of glucose into ethanol with the release of carbon dioxide. And anaerobic means in the presence of no oxygen. Renewable. That means it can be remade, as opposed to non-renewable, which means if it's used once, it's gone. Alternative fuel. This is a fuel which is a non-fossil fuel. So anything which is non-fossil fuel is an alternative fuel. And what fossil fuel was, it was a fuel or energy derived from petroleum or coal. And these were produced from fossils, which is why it's called fossil fuel. So petroleum, which is oil and coal, are produced from fossils. And if we get energy from them, we call them fossil fuels. Molar heat of combustion, that was how much energy is produced from the combustion of one mole of fuel. So for example, if we combust one mole of ethanol, how much energy do we get compared to combusting one mole of octane, which is um, your normal petrol? And that's molar heat of combustion. Complete combustion was when we have enough oxygen, so enough oxygen to produce only carbon dioxide. So that's good, complete combustion is good. And that happens to ethanol. It's incomplete combustion means we don't have enough oxygen. And because we don't have enough oxygen, not only CO2 is formed, but also carbon monoxide, CO, and that's quite deadly. That happens when it comes to, for example, petrol octane. Carbon monoxide, that was poisonous. So it's poisonous, and that's the structural form or the formula for it is CO. And it's formed by incomplete combustion. Yeast, that's a biological organism, which means it's a living thing. And we use it for fermentation quite a bit. It's used for other things as well, but for fermentation is a big one. An enzyme is a biological catalyst. So a catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. And a biological catalyst means it's produced by something biological. In this case, it's produced by yeast. So enzymes are produced by yeast, but also by other things as well. But the yeast produces an enzyme. And if it comes to fermentation, it produces this enzyme called zymase. The zymase is an enzyme used for the fermentation of glucose to ethanol. So this zymase enzyme speeds up this reaction from glucose to ethanol. So hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.